Right, hello there. Um, I did say I'd do this for John and I'd already posted uh, just a little video earlier. Um, but for those people that don't know yet, if you touch this, we get a nice little screen. And probably that's the one John would be interested in because it's got the figures of the output engine wise and everything else. And we also get a heading locator which in some of the other games like armor and that basically the circle will give you an idea where the helicopter is going to end up if you carry on going that route so you see we're going down put the circle on the horizon we end up on the horizon takes a while if we're banking But it gets there. It's not something I use when I'm doing any low flying or anything, but it's there at the moment. Um, one of the other things to point out is I'm doing this in flat screen and the gauges and everything, you know, they look okay. But in VR, they are absolutely brilliant. So um, the flat screen version doesn't match the VR version in flight. So just wanted to put that in and um, just to the last point I've got a if my voice sounds strange I've actually got a neck brace on today and uh, it's a bit tight on the old vocal cords so voice sounds a bit funny that's the reason why so let's get up there and do those spins for him that he wanted to see now as I mentioned in one of the little blogs, had a lot of problem trimming this out on the ground, but it does trim out nicely in flight. So we get this trimmed out and then left pedal full way. Not overly fast, we'll do a couple of turns banking over slightly speeding up a bit more and then off and that banked out quite well so or dampened out quite well I should have said so let's try right lot more power coming round foot off pretty much stops dead so that's actually really good I'm not using any of the other foot pedals to um, modify that part of flight so let's see if we can have a look at that in replay and it really does look the part I picked the red just so that it showed out more but here we go see a very slow start left pedal not quite level speed it up quickly but a very rapid stop without using the right foot so now we use the right foot and that damps out really really well so let's jump back get it on the grass and I'll try and explain what I was saying earlier very hard to slow down it might be I've got to play around with center gravity or the amount of mass in the helicopter just to show so reasonably well trimmed out above go to take off nose drops forward and right so let's give it 10 clicks left 10 clicks back and still the same right and whatever so let's do another 10 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 10 the other way, left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 go to take off goes in exactly the same direction so for some reason on the floor in ground effect the trims are not working as I as you would like them let's say that way once you get about 20 foot something like that trims if I hold the nose on trim works pull the trim onto the right and that also works so quite neutrally trim so let's just have a little finish off with a low flight bit close there bank over take some collective off then back on take some collective off then pull it back on to help pull the helicopter around then just let it come round slowly put the power back on And as I would say, it's a very easy helicopter to fly um, for this low flying stuff. Behaves really well. Probably people would say a um, bit predictable. Um, but it is easy to fly and a great deal of fun if you want to get into this sort of thing. So that's one thing and the other thing is just the paint work and the body work and everything it absolutely looks the part 
So let's go over here. Now I've got no wind or anything set up so I'm going to go for the old fuel valve again in a minute. But where is it? It's that black thing isn't it? There. Hit the negative. Nose down. Ah, oh, it's crashed. 